everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alyssa. If you didn't know, I'm a senior in high school and I run cross country, so our races are 5K and I run about one race every week, sometimes two, because right now it is cross country season. Obviously, I don't run a race every single week year round, but it is currently cross country season. So recently I've been experiencing a lot of meet days like every week, so I have kind of a system I do with my bag and what I bring and why I bring it and I just wanted to share with you guys what I bring and why and maybe it can help you guys with your races if you do cross country or even track because some of the things I bring you might not think about and I have reasonings for pretty much everything I bring so really it's just a what's in my cross country meet day bag this is different from what I bring to practices obviously I don't bring all this stuff every single day because I don't need to bring it to practice before we start I do want to say that my allergies today are through the roof so if I sound a little stuffy I'm very sorry and I will try not to sniffle the whole time in this video but it's just allergies it happens to me all the time so sorry about that <laughs> I hope it doesn't bother you too much. There's not much more to say, so let's just get into it. <sighs> okay, so this is my meat day bag. I actually just recently got a new bag. I used to use a different pink one. This one and the old one I used to use are very similar, so um, not a big difference at all. We're gonna start with the outside. My bag is an Adidas bag. It has two side zipper pockets and then one on the front and then one big one in the middle. It's pretty typical. So I have this little bag tag thing right here. I made these for my team last year. I'm hoping I can make them this year, but I'm incredibly busy, so we'll see how that goes. But it just says our name and our team, and it's a little shoe print. It just helps us know whose bag is whose if you like, if there aren't around and it needs moved or something. I have this little thing right here, and it just holds my jewelry, and it's pretty convenient. Let's get into the insides of my bag. We're gonna start with the main pocket. As I go through this, some of the things in here do vary from meat to meat. I don't always bring all of this stuff, but I most of the time bring most of it. So I'll try to explain what I mean as I go through it. Sometimes things change depending on like weather and stuff like that. So first of all, I have this cross country sweatshirt from our team. It's just our team gear for the year. So I always bring this sweatshirt. I normally wear it on the bus ride there. I normally wear it when I'm done with my races. I just like having a sweatshirt. Next up, I have my team warm up. So we wear this over our jersey when we're warming up because you want to stay warm and you don't really, it's not the best thing to warm up in just your uniform because you want to get your muscles warm and stuff. So we have these white long sleeve shirts that we wear. All right, next up I have my jersey, of course. I don't bring this to the meet in my bag. I have it in my bag and then I change into it at the school and then we leave, but um, I still have it in my bag on the way there then next i just have a normal shirt normally it's one of my team's like gear for the year or it says cross country or my team name or something like that so i can still be representing my team but i love to change out of my jersey out of my races because i am a person that loves to be sprayed with water when i'm running when i'm done with my races i'm completely soaked so i love to change out of my jerseys so especially if it's a colder day that way i'm not like getting frozen when the wind blows because i'm wet so i like to change into another shirt so i always bring another shirt with me i have socks same thing as before um i just like to sometimes change out of my socks especially if it was a more muddy wet course sometimes that can soak through your shoes and get your socks wet so i like to bring an extra pair of socks just in case and i also like to wear thinner socks when i run because i don't like to feel like constricted or too warm on my feet which sounds a little weird if it's one of the colder days when i'm done with my thinner socks i can change it to a thicker pair of socks if i want to okay i don't have this in the bag currently but also for the clothing stuff if it's a colder race i'll also bring like leggings or an undershirt that's honestly very rare for me i hardly ever actually race with that stuff on but sometimes i still bring it just in case next up i have a pair of gloves which again um, I don't really normally race with this stuff on, but sometimes it can be chilly before or after, especially before when you're trying to get warmed up and you can't get warmed up in the first place. That can be really hard, so I like to have a thing of gloves just in case. Of course, I have my running shoes. These are just a pair of Brooks, the Launch 7s. They are, oh, oh, oh. They're actually both different, like this one has red laces and blue, and this one's, you can't really see it. 
and this side is blue and then this one is red they're so they're opposite kind of they used to be white <laughs> these are my chacos i bring them to every single race because when i'm done racing i like to take off my shoes and slip these on and they're so much more comfortable than just being in your race shoes especially if it was like a muddy wet course that leaks into your shoes and then your feet are freezing so it's really nice to get those off also it's good to kind of be barefoot or like take off your running shoes and run or just like not have them on all day so i like bringing my tacos with me so i can be way more comfortable and um take off my race shoes the next things i have in here are kind of for a warmer race if you've heard of the brand frog togs i have three of them i love them so much they're so so helpful especially at the end of a race so if you don't know what frog togs are they come like this well not all wadded up <laughs> i did this they come dry they're like like this and then you wash them and then soak them in water and once you soak them in water they're basically just a cooling towel and i live by them so like i said i have three of them i have two in here and one in here um but they're all different so this one is a mini one and then i also have this one, which is a headband, which is so cool. And then this one is a full-sized frog tug. They're all pink because pink is my favorite color. <laughs> they come in a bunch of different colors. They're one of my favorite things after a hot race. You can just wrap it around your shoulders. Like a lot of times I would get sprayed like when I'm done just because it like cools you down. But it's so much nicer just to have a like a thing wrapped around you. And it also makes you feel cooler because the water doesn't really like run off of you or like evaporate like it does but not as quickly so that is everything in the middle pocket so we're gonna move over to this pocket moving on so in this pocket over here i have a lot of fun things i have some snacks i'm gonna show you what my typical like race day snacks are i take these things to almost every single race so i take a granola bar this is a cliff bar these are my favorite ones to take to races my favorite flavor is the crunchy peanut butter one i have these so i can like eat it on the bus or maybe like right when we get there to give me just a little bit of energy to go off of these and these i eat pretty much right before the race just a, a simple sugar type thing like fruit snacks these are the scooby fruit snacks which aren't the best and the healthiest but they are yummy <laughs> and then i also have the gatorade energy chews i also like these in the the green apple ones but the fruit punch ones are superior okay next up I have Biofreeze and a glove. Uh, so I get really bad muscle spasms and I have this weird thing with my calves where I'll run and it will hurt a little bit and I'll stop and it'll hurt a lot of it. And then I'll run, like the harder I run and then stop, the more it'll hurt when I stop. It's so weird, we don't know what it is, but I just deal with it. <laughs> I ice every day after practice to help with it. And I also, every single day before I run, during practice and meets, I put this on my calves and I use a glove so that way it's not all over my hands. Basically, when I get done with my races, my leg starts shaking like crazy. I'll put a video right here. My leg starts spasming a ton and I can't help it. <laughs> so beyond the fact that I like can't control it, it also hurts like crazy. So um, this is something that helps with it a ton, especially when I'm running. Next up, I have this inhaler in my bag. I've talked about this a little bit before in my videos where I've had moments where it's like I've had an asthma attack. I do not have asthma. I'm not saying I have asthma. Just want to put that out there. But I've had moments where I have basically an asthma attack where I can't breathe, can't catch my breath. It is what it is. So I went to the doctor. He said I could use this before races to help me um, breathe better, but I've never used it, but I still bring it with just in case. I don't even know how to use it, so that's fun. I bring it with, but I don't use it, so. This one, I highly recommend you invest in. If you're a high school racer, some meets tend to cheap out on this, and I don't understand why, because they aren't expensive. Let me get an example real quick. So, this is a standard race bib. It has your number in the middle, and then it has four holes for safety pins to go into, and then you can attach it to your jersey right here. I'm gonna repeat that. Four holes for safety pins. Some places decide that you only need two. Yes, that works, but it's awful. I hate it so much because you either have to put them both at the top and then the bottom can do this, or you put them catty corner and then one can fall down and the other can come up. I hate it so much. It bothers me when I run and it affects when I run and I don't want 
something as small as having two safety pins to affect the way I run. So I bring this little thing with me. You can find this at literally Walmart, any craft store ever. Honestly, you can probably find it at the Dollar Tree. You can probably find it anywhere. It's literally just a small little case of safety pins. And I'm pretty sure this costed like two bucks and it has all these in here. So I don't use this every time, but if I go to a meet where they only give you two safety pins, I'll just add two of mine. So that way that is not something that's affecting me. It's something small, but I think it's important. So I like to bring this with me. Now we're gonna move up to this pocket in the front. This one does not have a ton of things in it, but this is where I keep my AirPods. Um, I listen to music on the bus to kind of get hyped up. So I keep them in this front pocket, so it's super easy to find. It's also a very small pocket, it only goes to like here. I also keep my mask in here because it's easy to find, and I also will put my phone in here because it's easy to find. All right, last pocket. So in this one is more of my hygiene type stuff. All right, we're gonna start with this. So this is my little makeup case thing. I know what you're thinking, Alyssa, you're running a race. Why do you need makeup? The only actual makeup things in here is mascara and an eyelash curler. And I'm a person that just wears mascara every day, except for days that I don't really do anything. I put mascara on pretty much every day. If it's already on when I'm done with my race, I like to fix it up because I don't want it to look bad. So I bring this with me just in case. I also bring makeup wipes, just the little singles. Um, I don't use these every time. I also don't use the mascara every, whoa. I also don't use the mascara every time, but I like to bring these just in case. Going back to what I said like 20 times, I like to be sprayed with water when I'm running. So sometimes that can mess up my mascara so I can just quick fix that up. Or if I want to take it off for some reason, I like to just have these with me. Next up, I always bring face lotion with me. I have incredibly dry skin, especially on my face. It is something I can't escape, so I bring this with me all the time. I don't want my dry skin to be the thing that I'm thinking about during my entire race. Like if my skin is irritating me, uh, that is not what I want to think about when I'm running my race. I want to be focused on my race so I can do well. So that is the last thing I want to bother me. So I just bring this with me. Along with that, chapstick. Holy grail, by the way, this is the best chapstick if you're wondering. It's literally just chapstick, like chapstick brand. And it's the hydrating one. Okay, anyway, you don't want to have dry lips during your race because you're breathing out of your mouth and you're gonna get your lips all dry. So this is something you need to put on before every single race, trust me. It'll make everything so much better because when your lips are dry, you feel more thirsty, trust me. Pretty simple, but extra ponytail. Sunscreen, this is so important. This is so important to take care of your skin. Uh, this is a small sprayable kind so you can use it all over your body. This is the Copper Tone Sport, it's SPF 50. And then this is Sun Balm, it's just like a little face stick and also it smells amazing which makes you want to use it more. It literally smells like bananas and like a little bit of coconut. Like it smells so good. This is SPF 30, by the way. These ones are gonna go a lot faster, but hairbrush, obvious reasons, either to put my hair in a pony or after the race if I want to take it out. Deodorant, of course. I bring perfume because I don't like to smell bad, even though I probably still do because I'm just like masking the scent with this. Here I have it's a spray bottle, which I dumped suave detangling spray in, like that kitty green apple stuff you used to use. Yeah, that's what this is. I still use this to this day. So I just poured it in here and I take this one with me whenever I travel somewhere so I don't have to bring the whole big thing of it. And finally, I have just, this is actually a thing for fish, like when you're fishing, like tackle box stuff, but I keep my little hair ties, hair elastics in it. All right, so that's what I bring to every cross country meet that I have. Um, I hope that some of the things that I bring might spark some inspiration in you for stuff you should bring for your races. And I hope you enjoyed watching me show what I bring to my races. If you're interested in seeing how my races go, um, I do have a couple of vlogs about my cross country season. There's one out right now for sure. And there'll be one coming up shortly after this video. So make sure you keep a lookout for that video. So if you're interested in seeing how my season's going, make sure you check out those videos. If you like this video, make sure you like it down below. And if you want to see more just like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you run cross country. And if you do, comment down below what your best 5k time is. I'm really curious. Also, let me know like if you run the boys race, or the girls race and all that kind of stuff. I just want to know if any of my viewers run cross country or if they're interested or like 
how stuff like that goes for people that are watching this video. So make sure you comment down below how you're doing in your cross country season. Also turn on my post notifications so you never miss one of my uploads and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!